Hi there, everyone. This is Darkside 2K7, aka Solid Sky Chaser. So, remember the whole, the whole bullshit how these woke, how these so called motherfuckers were saying on the whole, oh, we need, oh, we need to protect our, we need to uh, take our sides and everything, and how, and how, how much of an asshole they were about the whole, you know, COVID thing, ever since we've been through the whole COVID thing, you know, now. Well, for what can be well, what can be considered the most stupidest thing imaginable, and and everything, and I can invite to the other part. They now have come out with, with with some genius article at the Atlantic. Decided to write an article that says we should have COVID amnesty. I wish I was joking. I really wish I was, but just for the sake of arguments. We're going to be taking a look at it because, of course, we are. I'll leave the article in, in this in this uh, description. So, oh, I forgot that I could iron it. That's it. All right. So after we after this whole cutscene of the big big old bad monster out there. Okay. Now we're going to pause. Let's see. I read this one later. This is from Emily Ouster. She says, "Let's declare a pandemic amnesty." We need to forgive one another for what we did and said when we, and said when we were in the dark about COVID. Uh huh. On April, on April 2020, with nothing else to do, my family took an enormous number of hikes. We all wore cloth masks that I made myself. We had a family hand signal, which the person in front would would use if someone was approaching on a trail and they need and we need to put on our mask. Once when another child got too close to my then four year old son on the bridge, he yelled at her social distancing. These these precautions were totally misguided. On April twenty twenty, no one got the coronavirus for passing someone else hiking. Outdoor transmission was vaguely fantasy rare. Our cloth masks made out of our old bandettas would have done not anything anyway but the thing is we didn't know I have been reflecting on this lack of knowledge thanks to the class to a class I'm teaching at Brown University on COVID <laughs> Brown University yeah right we spent several lectures reliving the first year of the pandemic discussing the many important choices we had to make under conditions under conditions of tremendous uncertainty. Some of these choices turned out to be better than others. To take an example close to my own work, there is an emergent, if not universal, consensus that schools in the United States were closed for too long. The health risk of in-school spread were relatively low, whether the cost of students' well-being and educational progress were high. These are the figures were learning loss, on uh, learning loss was alarming, but spring and summer 2020, we had only glimmers of information. Reasonable people, people who care about our children and teachers, advocated on both sides of of the reopening debate. Another example where the vaccines came out, we lacked de definitive data on the re relative effectiveness of the Johnson Johnson shots versus the mRNA options for Pfizer and Mar Moderna. The mR the mRNA vaccines have won out, but at the time, many people in public health were either neutral or expressed a JJ per Johnson & Johnson perfected. The misstep wasn't nefarious. It was a result of uncertainty. Obviously, some people intend to mislead and made wildly irresponsible claims. Remember when the public health community had to spend a lot of time and resources are urging Americans not to inject themselves with bleach? That was bad. Misinformation was and remains a huge problem. But most errors were made by people who were working in earnest for the good of society. Given the amount of uncertainty, almost every position was taken out, was taken out of every content. And on every topic, something was eventually proven right, and so else was proven wrong. In some instances, the right people were right for the wrong reasons. In other instances, they had a persistent understanding of the form available information. The people who got it right, for, the, for whatever reason, may want to go. Those who got it wrong, for whatever reason, may feel defensive and retread into a position that doesn't accord with the facts. All this gloating and defensiveness continues to gobble up a lot of social energy and to drive the culture wars, especially on the internet. These discussions were heated, unpleasant, and untimely, unproductive. 
in the face of so much uncertainty, getting something right had 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 a healthy element of luck. It's similarly getting something wrong wasn't a moral failure. Treating pandemic choices as a scorecard on which people rack up more points than others is preventing us from moving forward. We have to put these fights aside and declare a pandemic amnesty. We can leave out the willful purveyors of actual information while forgiving the hard calls that people had no choice but to make with imperfect knowledge. Los Angeles County closed its beaches on summer 2020. Ex post facto, this makes no one makes no more sense, more sense than my family hiking mask hike trip. But we need to learn from our mistakes and then let them go. We need to forgive the attacks too, because I thought schools should reopen and argue that kids as a group were not at a high risk. I was called a teacher killer in the genocide air. It wasn't pleasant, but feelings were high, and I certainly don't need to dissect where he has that, that time for the rest of the days. Moving forward on is a crucial now. Because of the pandemic created many problems that we still need to solve. Students' test scores have shown historic declines, more so in, in math than in reading, and more so for students who were disadvantaged at the start. We need to collect data, experiment, and invest. Is high doses tutoring more or less cost effective faster than extended school years? Why have some states recover faster than others? Should we we should focus on these questions like this because answering them is how we will help our children recover. Many children have many people have neglected their health care over the past several years. Notably routine va vaccination rates for children for measles persons are way down rather than debating the whole world the message of COVID vaccines had had in this decline we need to put all of our energy into bringing these rates back up pediatrics and public health officials will need to work together in communication and community outreach and politicians will need to consider school mandates this oh shoot the standard saying is that those who forget history are due to repeat it but dwelling on the mistakes of history can lead to a repetitive doom loop as well let's acknowledge that we made complicated choices in the face of deep uncertainty and then tried to work together to build back and move forward you dumb idiot no, really, you're that dumb. You're that dumb. You think, I mean, let's be weird. Let's be fucking weird, man. You managed to do this to lots of people who lost their livelihood and their job and everything that they work for because you did all this unnecessary crap you do and then also the worst part about it the, the really worst part about it is you had you along with your buddies in the media and the politicians y'all y'all act like what you y'all always went after people who decided not to wear their freaking mask mask or don't want to get uh, vaccinated you always act like oh well you are you're the problem you not help you not doing much to save the world you're hurting your fam you're hurting your grandma and everything you think people are going to forget all the crap you you dealt with you think people are going to forget all that all that that they did all the crap you would put them through I mean, you think you think they're gonna uh, so amnesty for you know? Oh, I don't know, making sure that um for them losing their jobs, losing their gym memberships, losing all that. You think people are gonna forget that? Uh uh, no man. Or, or how about the fact that? Oh right. I mean, I'm okay. I mean,
I mean, you think of all the things that you're going to try to do. You think of all that crap that you going to do was all the whole, oh, well, you know, uh, we didn't know. Of course you didn't know. Of course you didn't know. Of course you didn't know. You you were so busy worrying about your um. You were so worried about bit worry about you, about you know your, you know trying to be like you know oh Mister oh I'm scared I have to be your dad you have to be care about your family and whatnot and all that, all that and whatnot. But no, nah, you think people you think oh be, we should uh. We should uh, show some amnesty. Uh uh, no, 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 no. After all the shit you and the idiots in the media have put a lot of people through. Uh, no. They're not going to, um, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. No one is going to accept everything that you do. And not gonna accept this, and people are gonna call you out for it. Everyone's gonna call you and every politician out there. And there's a reason why, and there's a reason why. Y'all put us through this level of unnecessary crap, and then and and for what? Just cause oh we have to oh because you want to feel that. And also you know what the worst part about the whole situation is is that. You decided to go after people and and cast them out, saying, "Oh, if you don't t if you don't get the vaccine, you can't we can't hang out." Like you, like you literally, um, you really treat people who don't want to take the vaccine as if they're like, as if they're going to like, as if they're murderers, they're monsters, they're evil, they're villains, they're they're terrible. They shouldn't be hang out. They should have their livelihood. And what about the people? And what about the people? Who lost their job? Who lost their businesses during the pandemic? What about them? You think they? You think they want am? You they? You think they're going to give you amnesty? No. Everything y'all did. Y'all did. Y'all did everything to make everyone's life miserable during the pandemic. You. And instead of you, and instead of you, the mainstream media, do your due diligence to give people out. You decided to side with the politicians. And oh, and also on the story about Trump, when when Trump tried to put together the tax, the task force to try to combat, try to combat the the um. To find a way to to combat the whole COVID COVID then be, when he was when he was present when he put together a task force to try to fit that instead of you actually reporting the you know what what Trump might be doing and everything no instead of you actually reporting on that what what you did oh right you decided to attack Trump's uh oh right I remember you decided to attack Trump's um. Trump's um what you would call it? Oh yeah, Trump's task force for and I wish I was joking, but th this actually happened. You attack them. You attack his task force of all the bright si minds and scientists for one for the for the reason for what reason? Oh right, because they're not because they're too too many white people. Like there's not there's not a black doctor. And I was like, we're facing a middle of a fucking pandemic. We're scared of our lives. Yet you're so worried, but yet you're worried about there's not a black doctor there. I'm sorry, what's more important? Your life or the whole diversity bullshit? Because I can tell you one thing. I'll take, I'll take, doesn't matter if a doctor is white, black, brown, yellow, or purple. As long as they get the job done, that's all that matters at the end of the day. 
And then let's and then let's not forget the whole y'all, you and your wookies decided to go on the whole. Oh, you can't call the you can't call the coronavirus the Wuhan virus because it's racist. How is it racist? How is it racist? Because it's not technically racist if it's because it's actually was from Wuhan. It was from the from a Wuhan lab. Apparent. I mean, seriously. The only reason why you. Know, Y'all did all this, and also in a New York, and also in a New York Times um, newspaper back in twenty, back in uh, September twenty twenty, they admit that the lockdowns didn't effing work. It didn't work. The COVID lockdowns didn't work. So my question is, if it didn't work, then why come we still we were still in lockdown until? until September of 2021. Hmm? That don't make no sense. That does not make sense. And how come we have to be trapped in our own homes when you got politicians going out to these fancy ass parties without wearing a mask, without wearing a mask and celebrating it, living their lives and also passing, passing new laws that strip away our freedoms and rights. You don't want to go. You don't want to talk about. You, you don't want to talk about on that. Oh, but you want to talk about how old Trump didn't do anything about the whole um, pandemic and everything, yeah, and all that other stuff. Just running goddamn cover for these idiots. There's a reason why y'all. There's a reason why nobody believes you guys. Cause y'all, y'all just. All you care about is want to make sure that. One side, at the end of the day, you don't you don't want you think people want amnesty. No, you just don't. You saying that shit because y'all just don't want to admit that you were wrong. You didn't know what you were talking about. You was you was pulling stuff out your ass, and then for some and now because y'all and now because you think you were wrong, instead of you actually admitting that you're wrong and it's wrong you expect people to want to forgive and forget you know let bygones be bygones i'm sorry but after this you think people are going to forget all the shit y'all put y'all put us through Uh uh-uh we're not doing that we're not doing that because i feel like y'all just y'all just you want to look for a way out that's what it is that's what y'all that's what you're doing. I'm not a poly- We're not. We're not gonna forgive. We're not gonna forget. And trust and believe me. A lot of people. If the, a lot of people who y'all made our lives livable, who made our lot, who who y'all made their lives miserable, they're looking for payback. They're gonna be looking for definitely payback. And trust and believe me. They, they didn't, they won't forget. They don't forgive and they won't forget. And that's what, and I think that's what y'all want. You want people to forgive and forget, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Anywho, that's just my two cents on the whole thing is. So, I want to know what you think on this, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's thinking that what there's, what this Atlantic writer thinks she, she wrote like she trying to act like oh we didn't oh we didn't know I didn't know I didn't know yeah nobody didn't know nobody didn't know nobody didn't know but the prop but that's the prop but that's the thing you didn't know but you act like you know everything and now that you don't know anything what what you do oh what you do Oh, that's right. You say, "Oh, uh, well, uh, we didn't know." So, uh, let bygones be bygones. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no. After all the, cr- after all that, s- after all the crap y'all put us through. Oh no. No, 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 no. We're looking for payback. 
we are definitely looking for payback. Because we don't forgive. We don't forgive, and we damn sure don't forget. As always. Well, that's it for now. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your significant others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Solid Sky Series, signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot, and I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. COVID amnesty. Fuck that. You get no am after all the crap you put us through? Uh-uh. Ain't happening, Captain. It ain't happening.